How's it going, everyone? Back with another exciting ever questing adventure today. We are out in Everfrost at the Ice Giant Camp. This is a very good camp. They're kind of like hill giants. They drop fine steel, they drop gems, they drop upwards of like 45, 48 plat or, or so. Sometimes you can get poopy ones that only give you like 30 gold and that kind of sucks. But that's still okay. Another thing that they do drop, which is super freaking awesome. Do I even have any on this? Oh, I might have banked them all already. They drop, oh, I'll probably get one. They drop Ice Giant Toes that sell an easy tunnel for 40 plata pop, which is really good. They're used in shaman potions. I don't know much about shaman potions, but they're used in shaman potions to make potions for raiding and stuff like that. But this is the camp right here. You have one Ice Giant here. One Ice Giant that's right here, but, oh, there he goes. He just popped. Um, he is down, and then, now he's back up. And then one Ice Giant right over here. I believe he's taken right now. Yes, um, he spawns right here. He's taken. Um, I guess etiquette says, according to, I don't know whose rules. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, I guess, what it is. Um, if somebody comes and they want to take one of these they theoretically can and i would be perfectly happy with that i would i don't care so uh but i'm going to be doing two of them until somebody comes up and says that they want one this place is heavily camped because of the toes and because of the plat and actually i'm still getting experience off of these and it's not bad i can't um i've been here for about an hour and i said you know i'm gonna make a video I'm going to go to make a video. I'm on my way to Bear Pits. Um, I am 55 now. Woo -woo. Uh, new additions to the gear. Sandals of Harmony went to hate. These dropped. Won the roll. Clicky Spirit of Wolf, which is super awesome. Thanks to Kittens for that. The, um, I've been up to hate a couple times, but not too much. And it was really fun. I had a blast. But anyways, let's get started. Show you guys some more of the epic and epic action and um after this video is done i'm gonna make a video of me going down to the bear pits on getting to the bear pits and i don't know how to get to the bear pits there's a video so when i do the video of me it's not an instructional one it's probably going to be a crazy frantic one of me panicking i'm probably going to die <laughs> because you got to do all kinds of crazy madness stuff and and this up and then run past these c and vis giants and then levitate over this no you you gotta vis up, you gotta levitate over these goblins, and then run past these giants you see in vis, and they chase you, and you gotta cross a spider, fall down a trap, pit, hole, and then bind at the bottom of the bear pits because the whole place is gonna train down to you, and then get out, port out as soon as possible. So it sounds crazy to me, and it just stresses me out even thinking about it. But here we go. Oop, I don't wanna get too close to that guy. Here we go. Let's cross our fingers for some good plat drops because I'd really like to show you guys how awesome the plat is here. Um, I have done this with a partner a couple days ago and um, when it was open. And I always see people here and I've never actually gotten to camp. I never really like tried too hard, but I'm actually going to because it's really good plat. Yeah, it's awesome. So look at those freaking clicky epics. I love all these freaking clickies. They're just awesome. Um, I believe these guys are on six minute, f um, 40 second timers. So, um, with form of the howler, it's really nice. It gives you plus two mana regen, which I love so much. So that helps out with the mana. Looking forward to getting a 60 guys. I'm looking forward to getting a 60, getting POTG. Um, it's going to be freaking awesome. And I guess bear pl pits is the place to do it. According to a couple of the people that I've talked to and a few of the videos that I watched, each bear gives you 1% experience all the way up to 59. I don't know if that's the case. I'm going to find out. So, uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to knocking out the bear pits and trying to get down there. And hopefully I don't die because I'm probably not easy to get a res all the way down there. Um, but the nice thing is we do have a guy in the guild who is has a cleric bound down there. So if I die, I can get a... You know, I can get a res every now and again. Oh, I better pay attention to my wings of or my drones of doom. Um, yes, here we go. See, as you can see, they're pretty easy. Um, they are on on 55, and some of them are green and some of them are blue. But I don't know how many I've killed now. I start. I came here 
I think I've been here for about an hour, like I said, and I've gotten like 3%. And I don't think that, that, that you know, 55, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, especially since you're getting boatloads of plat. But bear pits, if you're getting 1%, and some of the videos that I have watched are like, people are taking on like five bears at a time. That's insane. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun to learn. Um, I would have tried sooner, but I was waiting for this spell right where's it at right here call a corona this was a pain to get you essentially there are four drop spells that drop off npcs and crew arc and you have to get those go to free on vey um then you have to turn them in for a chance to get call a corona and like egress and a couple other ones and i did 11 turn-ins <laughs> to freaking get this. And it wasn't like you just go pick up the spells and go turn in 11. It's like setting freaking auction trackers and sitting in EC. Oh, got one spell here. Oh, found this spell here. I'll go turn it in. Oh, got another one. I'll go turn it in. So it was quite the freaking adventure to get that dang spell. Now my epic should be wearing off. There it goes. I'm going to go ahead and because he is going to start running here pretty quick. No, don't run. I mean, it's not like he can go anywhere. Oh, no, he's going to go out of line of sight. Ugh. That's okay. That's okay. I'll clicky snare him like this. That should kill him with my um, my clicky drones of doom. I, I love these things. I love all these clickies. They're so freaking fun. They're awesome. And what's great about the epic um, winged death and of the clicky it, uh, drones of doom is that all of them have, what did we get, four plat? Come on, guys. Man, they must have went to the casino last night and lost all the freaking money. See, right here, F Ice Giant Toes, 40 plat. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Um, yeah, that guy, he must have went to the casino last night and got wiped out. Let me start a timer here. Okay, next one going up so you, as you can see on my mana and stuff i could probably easily do uh all three of them easily if they were open with all this crazy stuff and even if you start getting low on mana then don't use any mana just well except for your roots and then just use your drones of doing your clicky um to get it down it would take a little while but freaking who cares God darn it. I'm pressing the wrong buttons here, guys. Again, I do that I, a lot. Like, I freaking root myself and snare myself, as you guys saw in my last video. So terrible. Oh. oh, but what I was saying about the spells is that they have a resistance debuff that's built into them. So the epic, the clicky drones of doom, and wing death is very hard to resist. It's possible, but it's very, very difficult. So... I like to use them. And Breath of Row does not have anything like that, so it has gotten resisted quite a bit in the past, all depending on who you're fighting. These guys, I think, are just starting to green out. You know, is that guy blue? Yeah. So, you know, they're not as resistant, but like if you're fighting little higher level ones, I don't use Breath of Row too much for that reason, because it's just, um, yeah. It's just a freaking waste of god dang mana. I get so mad. When I get a resist. There we go. Look at him. He's going down. He's going down. I love this camp. And I'll tell you why. It still gives experience. And it gives plat. And it's just easy. Like it's. Um, you know. It's not. A, where you're really coming to like farm items. I guess. The ice giant toes. Are. Um, very much wanted. And sell really good. But you know. It's not like. A shiny brass idol. Or whatever but it's more of like a raw plat place where you can just get raw plat and, and get these ice giant toes oh and they drop um they drop fine steel so you know you got fine steel now i've already done a few town runs because i just get backed up with all this stuff and i'm running out of backspace like guys i have to make a bank alt um how's my video doing here I have to make a bank call, guys. Uh oh, here comes a motorcycle. That's our neighbor. 
I have to make a bank call because I have so much stuff in my bank and I need to get it all into one centralized location to be able to sell it. Because, you know, I enjoy <laughs> I enjoy farming this stuff, but gosh dang it, I hate sitting in EC Tunnel. Freaking trying. Look at that. 28 plat, 53 gold, Ice Giant Toad. There's another 40 plat. I will take that all day long. Put that there and spell components. You guys might be like, oh my god, that's a really good one. I don't know if it is or not, and I'm gonna look it up. Sorry, guys. And we got three minutes left. Um, so or three minutes and twenty seconds left. So look at that. I like awesome, easy. Do you have enough time to met up? I could easily do that third one if it was up. So I am very much enjoying the the this camp. And while I'm doing it, farming some plat, getting some stuff, getting some toes. I'm getting experience at the same time. So, but that that's you know I think next on my to do list is to make myself a mule account. I have to, and then get it all over to one account so I can start to sell the stuff off. Cause I have a lot of stuff, guys. I've like farmed. Um, I I already sold a shiny brass idol. Went for another one. I have like six of the ring of shadow. I, I have so much crap and. I haven't sold any of it, so, you know, I'm not going to make any plat off these farming videos. <laughs> I don't actually sell it. It just sits in my bank for weeks, so that'll be my next thing to do. I'll get it all nice, and um, I'll make an account, and then get get some farming tunes. It's just, I hate sitting in EC Tunnel. It's not my thing. I should just find somebody and sell all the stuff at, like, a discount at, like, a really cheap rate, so then... They can sell it because a lot of people like to do that stuff, like wheeling and dealing and buying this and buying lower and selling higher, but not me. But I do like to farm the stuff though. That that's my favorite part. But you know, bear pit's coming, guys. As I said, I'm gonna make that video of me trying to get down there. And it won't be, as I said, not gonna be an instructional video. It's gonna be a crazy video of me panicking because <laughs> I it looks pretty crazy. It looks scary to me. But uh, what's my video at now? Um, we are, oh, it's, we're only at 12 minutes. We still got some more time. Um, I'll do a few more pops because I like to show you guys that you can get like upwards of almost freaking 50 plat. Cool stuff. Um, the highest I think was 46 plat that I got and had fine still on it. That's like 50 plat right there. That's decent. I like it. Oh, right. Here's my tracking on idle. We went out, a couple of us, and did the hunt the hunter forager cycle to get this so i can get into oh what's the name of that place is it free celibus i don't remember what the name of the place is yeah it's a place where you can go to farm the fungi i think it's syllabus i think and we've had a couple guildies um who've been hitting those pretty heavily i'm a little too low uh, uh well i was a little too low i could probably go there now uh, maybe another few levels but they've pulled quite a few freaking funky tunings over the past week or so and i like to get one because if i get one i'm gonna make a melee class after i finish this guy after i get this guy to 60 then i've i have vowed i have vowed to put down my altaholic ways and just focus on this drew because i love i mean and i i really like it so much and another thing uh oh my alarm's about to go off um, one thing that I love about the Druid is like, um, is every level I'm looking forward to like a new spell, like, oh, cool. At 55, I get this. Oh, cool. At 56, I get this. There are some classes for me, like the wizard. It wasn't like that. It, it, it was like, oh, I'm 51. I get my new quad spell. Oh, at freaking 57, <laughs> I get evil. Of evac. Oh, at 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 sixty. Oh man, I just went link dead. No, see that? Look at that. I was wondering. I was wondering why I think I wasn't popping. Yep, I just went link dead. That's so sad. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm glad it didn't happen in the middle of a freaking fight. I'll be right back. I'm gonna reboot real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna get the client started. Oh man, gosh darn it. Okay, be right back. Alrighty, and we are back. I don't know what happened. 
my internet was just was being terrible. I switched over to the hotspot. I think everybody's on watching their TikTok nonsense and whatever those kids are doing these days. Uh, anyways, we're back. And what I was saying was that um, was that with the druid, every level I I I have spells to look forward to. And with like wizard and a couple, you know, I just don't. So I'm like, oh, cool. This level I get this day. This level I get this. At 55, I get my little druid pet buddy. And yeah. So and then at for 56, I, I get to click the evac stick and all that cool stuff. And there's so much more that I have to get for like gear and cool clickies and that chest out of piece out of TOV where you get re just all kinds of cool stuff. It's fun. So like. You, you know, always feels like I have something to work towards, especially POTG. That's going to be, um, like, one of the, like, I can't wait to get that spell. It's something that I've always loved in the game. Everybody loves for, for POTG, and I'm so, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get that spell. To have constant POTG. And then we have a couple other spells that stack with it. So I think you can get up to eight mana regen per tick with, it's like, um, Mask of the Hunter, something like that. Yeah. So, we'll continue on farming the Ice Giants for a little while. About 20 minutes, I am going to go ahead, cut the video. We're at 16 minutes now, so I'll probably be able to take this one down and the one behind me down. And then I'll go ahead and call it a day there. Just wanted to show this place. It's a freaking awesome place. Uh, I want to give big shout outs to everybody in the channel who has messaged me in game and and have been talking with me. I very much enjoy it. Uh, it's been awesome. That's what I love this game for. It's a good community. Everybody's really nice. I had a guy today message me and said, hey, I was watching your videos. I started playing again uh, and I was like cool and then we talked for uh, a while and all the other people guys I I I, I really appreciate it um, and yeah it's been really cool I've met a lot of cool people through this which I very much enjoy always feel free if you're watching if I'm in game hit me up guys I sometimes I uh, something stressful is going on <laughs> on the game I might not get back to you right away but I'll eventually will uh, because sometimes, like, I've been in, like, a hectic freaking situation and, and like, uh, you know, I get kind of stressed out in this game sometimes if, like, roots break and stuff goes crazy. So, um, but I will eventually get back to you. Guys, if you ever want to do it with me and group with me, freaking hit me up, man. Let's go for it. I am down. I am down to do whatever. Because, um, you know, I, I, I've been soloing a lot. I did, I think I was 70% in the 54, I went into the hole, because, you know, I was getting a little lonely, a little bored, being by myself, so I went in the hole, grind there to 55, and now, at 55, after I got Call of Corona, bear pits, it's bear pit time, hopefully, hopefully it's not like uber camped, that's the only thing that um, I'm really worried about, is that, like, it'll be really camped. And, like, Plane of Mischief was camped a lot, too, but I can get it on lockdown, though. Which I think I, in Bear Pits, you're able to do that, too, if you claim the camps. I think. I don't really know. I guess I'll find out when I get down there. When I get down there. Die, Mr. Ice Giant. I'm so sorry to kill you in your frozen happy home. Oh, okay, give me some big plat. Oh, four plat. Four plat. That's okay. That's okay. And fine steals. There we go. I mean, you know, we're 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 doing the best we can here. We're doing the best we can. Give him engulfing roots. Epic dotum. This is a fantastic place too. Like I said in my other video, show your guys kids this. Say okay, Junior. Get over here. Don't leave your room until you get me a thousand plat saved up. <laughs> oh, see. I'm doing you guys favors, man. I'm doing you guys favors. Doing you guys favors. You can, this is such an easy camp. Even your kids can freaking farm it for you. So, you know, if they ever do something bad, you're grounded two hours of farming. Like, no, not again, Dad. I swear, I never do that to my kids. No, I don't. Maybe. 
I, you know, I try to get my kids to play, but, you know, they're like teenagers, and they're like, this game, look at the graphics, they're terrible, and they are, <laughs> but that, but that's what I love, whatever about it, uh, yeah, like, is, it, is that the sound? This sounds terrible, oh my gosh, these graphics, how do you play this? <laughs> I'm like, you guys don't understand, back in the day, uh, these were like, freaking fantastic, amazing 3D graphics. You know, yeah, it's funny. I'm like, yeah, I'll go get back on your Call of Duty. This game's way better than Call of Duty. I actually don't even know. I never really play Call of Duty. I ain't talking smack. I ain't talking smack. Toy Call of Duty players out there. Calm down, guys. Calm down. Jeez. All right, let's give it a Drones of Doom. And he's got himself some fine steel. They also drop gems and stuff too, like these pearls, which I don't sell the pearls, I keep them, because those are cough materials, and I'll give them to mage buddies in the guild as soon as I get a stack. Good stuff, guys, good stuff. And you can see I don't have a lot of buffs up, because I, you know, root doesn't really break too much, and it's not, like, it's that dangerous. So, I mean, usually I'd have, you know, a little more, a few more buffs up. Well, I love this form of the Howler, though. I love that 2 plus mana regen. It's awesome. But man, P O T Potog. I call it Potog. It's coming, baby. It's coming. And if I can get a good spot in Bear Pits and learn that, I heard it's 1% a, a bear. Hopefully it is. I don't know. But um, I talked to people. I said, dude, I went there at 55 and I went freaking 55 to 60 in like no time. So that's going to be awesome. My drones of doom. It's gonna wear off soon. There it's just worn off. Time that one out good. That one I don't have a timer set up. So I haven't made a custom timer yet. I just kinda look at the time of my uh, engulfing roots. I do have a timer for that one. Pro skills, man. Pro skills. But I can tell you guys I'm nervous. I'm very nervous about going down to bear pits. <laughs> oh, it looks nuts. So, um, after I cut this video, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to watch the YouTube video again and watch it a couple times. Five Platinum? Come on, you broke mofos. I'll, I'll probably hit town first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One thing about town, guys, is watch out if you're in wolf form. Because those guards, man, if you run past those guards in wolf form, they will freaking try to punch you. I didn't know that. Uh, for one thing, I should have egressed over because it puts you right in front of town, but I ran all the way over there until I got there. I'm like, oh, I could have just egressed. And right when I ran past those, the, the guards at the entrance, before I zoned into Hallis, they all freaking attacked me. I mean, you know, they can't kill me. Well, if I stood there for long enough, but, yeah. Um, so they attacked me. I'm like, uh-oh, watch out. I don't know why they don't like wolves for. Aren't those like these tribunal shamanistic freaking tree hugger guys or something? I don't they like puppies? It's messed up. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you this spot. Popular camp spot. Come check it out. Right through over here is how you get to, to permafrost. So I'm going to be going there next. I'm going to hit town real quick. Drop off. Sell my... Um, the, well, all this fine steel stuff. Drop off the plat. And then go on an adventure. And I'm going to make a video of that too. Because it's going to be scary. It's going to be scary. But all right, guys. Um, what's my video at? Alright, we're at 23 minutes. That's gonna be close enough. If you are a mage or a shaman or necro or probably any class, uh, it's pretty easy here. Come to this place. Check it out. It's awesome. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed. Again, guys, hit me up in game anytime. We can chat or whatever you want to do. I'm more than happy to hang out with any of the peoples. Who are watching these silly videos that I do. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good month. Have a good year. Hope everything's going well. Be safe out there. Peace y'all.